Hey guys, it's Teddy Parker here. Um, I have gotten a lot of interest in wanting to see how I paint in the Art Rage program. So I thought this would be the perfect chance to show you guys how I use it when you're all probably sitting at home needing things to do. Um, I think as artists we have a special chance to bring beauty to the world in times like this when everyone's worried and nervous. Um, so I'm hoping that this will be my chance. But um, it's not going to be fancy or high tech because that's just not me. Um, if there is need for a higher tech, more um, in-depth video, I can figure that out. But I'm going to need some more resources. So here's the simple one. I'm going to open the Art Rage program and hit create new painting. I like to have a pink or an orange background depending on um, what I'm painting. And I'm actually going to be painting a pink flower today, so I'll change it to orange. And if I want to be able to have print, like make prints of my paintings, I need to have it this 4096 by 4096 size so the, there's enough pixels. But I love having the big brush strokes. So for this just little tutorial, I'm going to do um, a much smaller canvas so that I can have nice big brush strokes. Change the color. Let's see. Uh, I turn record script file on every time just in case I want to reprint the image. So that's all that is. Um, I like to make my canvas smaller so I can actually get to the edges. And then I trace my image. Oh shoot, I needed a square. Just kidding, let's go back. So let's make it 1536 by 1536. Done. Okay, here we go. When I do let my kids paint, I give them the rectangle. Okay. I knew, no, I think it was in Paint Me. Let's get that image here. I was trying to find something I haven't painted on the computer yet to show you. Hmm, pardon me while I scroll. There it is. I was thinking about doing this guy. So I'm gonna go make it pencil and just trace. I just kind of trace the big shapes that I think I'll need. Because I'll pull the picture up as a reference uh, once I start painting so I can see it as well. So this is just kind of painting or drawing out all the shapes that I need to kind of get it on there. Okay, and then you can make it go away temporarily to see if there's anything else you want to add. I think I will add some of those. Okay, then we'll get rid of that and hit references down here. Oh shoot, now I need to go find it again. Okay, scroll faster. Okay, so then I pop that up on the side. And for speed of tutorial's sake, I'm going to show you the tricks um, so it doesn't, you don't have to sit here and watch me for hours. Um, since everyone might just want to start playing with the app, and you, there's a trick where if you touch the screen on the color you want, it will pull the color for you. And then I just like to put, to kind of hover and do that, it'll be quick here, and put in just these brush strokes of color. That wasn't quite what I wanted. There we go. Start here with this deep red orange. I kind of paint from the middle to the outside edges. Oops. See if we can get that glowing color. You can always adjust too if it's not working. Let's see. Make it look like it's on fire. And then all I do is kind of get the color I want for that area and put a brush stroke down. This is when I say I paint in a paint by number kind of style, this is what I mean. <laughs> I'm just filling in areas with chunks of paint. And then, 
the stroke doesn't work, you can hit undo. I wish that was true in the studio. I have a workshop coming up in North Carolina in October, assuming all this craziness is over by then, but I'm gonna have to start getting used to talking while I paint. So yeah, it's just kind of, every time I hit kind of a new area, I'll just hover and pick up that color for time's sake, make it faster for you guys. And it's just nice when you're learning before you kind of know color mixing. I mean, you're certainly welcome to come over here and, and adjust the color and tap for whatever you need to make. Um, so I definitely recommend learning to make your own colors. But this is just gonna be for while we're learning and playing. And you can learn a lot about color mixing. Like this color is found under red orange to get this kind of dark taupe. So you can be paying attention as you pull the colors up. And then for the background, so I paint the whole subject first and then I like to go out and carve out the image again with the background. I think Carol Marine termed it um, islands to oceans is what she calls it. She paints all the islands in the center of the canvas and kind of works her way out. And I just found that that really clicks with how my brain wants to paint. So thank you, Carol Marine. But then you can kind of re-carve it out and get all these fun sh shadows and er, edges. They can be, you can make them soft or you can go over them a couple times and make them harder. Uh, but then, yeah, once you get out here, you can be free and just get those big strokes covering everything. Let's see. Let's go back to here. Hopefully this is helpful, just watching me. Wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling. My girls and I made... Um, chocolate cinnamon bread today, so it's so, so good. Let's see, let's go to this dark space and get that. Let's see if we can fill any of these gaps now. Clean it up with some details. Hopefully I can post this video. I don't know how long it's gonna be once I'm all done. And maybe I won't even finish it. Maybe we'll just do the half of the flower so you can watch. Just wanted to give you guys some help and information so you can play with something new and fun and exciting. Hopefully this is inspiring and makes you want to paint. I love this time of year. Um, I was just telling my husband I'm so excited for dandelion season. My kids love dandelions and I love painting all their bouquets they bring me. Just handfuls of these things. That's what gets me inspired around now. Let's see, it's not making the color I want to pick up. I'm gonna give a little shine to this side of the stem. Okay, back to black. I did paint this iris in a mini when I was featured at the gallery here in town. I had a bunch of these mini flowers. This one was probably the one that sold first, oops. Oh, and you're welcome, I, can't, I keep my brush, oops on a hundred percent just the whole time but you're welcome to change it it's just for this look that i do i like getting the big chunky brush strokes and i like seeing where or what kind of marks um the brush makes when you're kind of forced to to not get detailed and fussy i love it when it when you can still see the brush strokes and it looks like a human painted it we could even go in here and kind of change the tone and make it a little purpley if we wanted. Give it, keep it away from just being boring black. 
Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I paint and you'll eventually cover the whole canvas and you'll have a painting. So hopefully that helps. Um, again, I will try being more high tech if there's a need, but I hope you guys are inspired and encouraged to play around in this RH program.